I know today on WGCI you gave Gail King goofy the goofy of the day. Of the day. She right. is receiving a whole lot of backlash yep. for her interview right here that she did with Lisa Leslie. And in that interview they were talking about Kobe Bryant, but she decided to go back to 2003 and bring up that rape case that was eventually completely mm. dropped. And this is a portion of that interview. People are pissed off. It's been said that his legacy is complicated because of a sexual assault charge, which was dismissed in 2003, 2004. Is it complicated for you as a woman, as a WNBA player? It's not complicated for me at all. Even if there's a few times that we've been at a club at the same time, Kobe's not the kind of guy, never been like, you know, Lisa, go get that girl or tell her or send her this. I have other NBA friends that are like that. So Gail King is the co-anchor of CBS This Morning. That short clip was posted to social media, and she decided to fire off about that. She went on Instagram with her own video saying it was out of context and that that clip did not show the entire interview and that she's going to have a very intense conversation with the bosses over at CBS. Doesn't matter. You know, honestly, I want to hear what you have to say, but I'm giving her a pass for this I'm one. I want to hear what you no, have to I'm say. No, I'm not giving her a pass because, Gail, none of y'all asked the man this while he was here. You said this happened in when? 2003. 2003. That's right. 17 years Kobe was here playing games, doing things. When he won his Oscar and he was going around doing that press run, nobody brought it up then. When she says some people would say his legacy would be talking, well, who's saying it? Who's that? Because I ain't hear none of y'all talking to the I man while he was here. This is the problem that I have with it. He's gone now. Can't defend himself. It ain't been two weeks since the man been dead. That's true. And y'all want to bring that up. That man lost a mon lot of money behind that. And once again, I want everybody to know out there, I'm not discrediting the young lady. It is what it is. He went to court. He got to quit it. Okay? Just like OJ. Right. Got to get over it. He got to quit it. Some other people that we think did things, they got to quit it. I'm saying is this. The man's gone, and I love the way Lisa Leslie handled that. Like, that's not my guy. That's not the Kobe I know. I got NBA guys that tell me, go get that girl and go do that. That's not him. That just, it was wrong. I thought it was Bush League journalism. I thought it was for me, and I'm not a journalist. I'm just a guy, a comedian that has a point of view. But to me, that was Bush League journalism. She did not have to ask that question, period. There was no, if you didn't ask it why he was here, why had a cojones to ask it when he's gone? So is the timing the issue or the question put on the table point blank is the issue for you? The question put on the table point blank because he was acquitted, one. Two, he's not here to defend himself. And you didn't ask it to him while he was here. And at the end of the day, I have a problem kind of with Gail and that, that team Oprah, that Oprah branch, because it seems like they've been making black men the face of everything. They went after Cosby. You went after Russell Simmons. You went after R. Kelly. You, now you're bringing this up with... Kobe, listen, if people are guilty, they're guilty. I don't have any problems with that. But had the same type of energy for Harvey Weinstein. Had the same type of energy for Jerry Lee Lewis, uh, 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 the great, the king, Elvis Presley. Had the same type of energy for Woody Allen, who basically raised his wife. Do we have that same type of energy for them? Nah, I don't hear. I don't hear her trying to do no. I don't hear her trying to do no story with them. So that's what pissed me off about it. You know what I'm saying? You going at your own super crazy. I hear you, but here's the deal. The reality is, and I mean, this is no shade to anybody that's watching, nobody in the audience, but you're not a journalist from this perspective. When you are sent into the fire, when you're sent to do these interviews, you have bosses that you have to appease. Now, I will tell you, I've been sent on some bogus stories before that would make certain populations look absolutely absurd. And I've denied in the past some of those assignments, but there's only so much you can do. So if her bosses told her to go there, ask the question, then what? But on the flip side, black people always get mad at black journalists you only got so many what about the diversity on a whole nother scale that's so cool. you're mad at gail that's a whole nother but that's a whole nother show we're talking about job. what she said to that woman in reference to kobe bryant at the end of the day you didn't your people didn't have you ask that question while he was here and you got to have some type of backbone and stand up and say hey man we didn't ask him why we was here why are we going to ask him why he was gone? And if, and, and like you said, you've turned down seven, so it's not. So what I are you then? Why, if you controlled by the check, say you controlled by the check, it's all good. She probably is. Okay, then, then God bless. <laughs> Oprah's your friend, though. 
I, I'll never be broke if Oprah, my friend, hey, Oprah, I got to take a stand on this. This is bogus. I don't want to ask I that. I could agree with I that. I don't feel comfortable asking that. So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I don't know Gail as a person. She's probably a, a good person, but bad judgment right there. And that's why, but now she's going back trying to put it on the network. She is. Nah, the clip, fam, you didn't have clip. to answer that question. She asked the question, that's so just that's the me. truth. That's just me. Hey, we'll be right back. More later with Leon.